Hello, this is Jonathan with CPA Career Coach, your host through the 30-day job search challenge. Today, I want to talk a minute about how to use the LinkedIn networking spreadsheet. This is a real simple spreadsheet, and it's important that anything that you use uh, for tracking purposes or keeping you organized is simple. It's easy to use, not overcomplicated. And so what I've got here is just a simple networking spreadsheet that you can begin to use for LinkedIn. If you've been following this process, then you should have begun to identify some MICs, which are most important connections. And it doesn't really matter so much if that person is even in your specific industry. They don't have to be a hiring manager that's in your industry. They could be a realtor who's really networked uh, heavily with people in in your city in your metropolitan area but you've just identified a number of people let's say what the goal would be to start maybe 15 to 20 people at least people who just seem to be extra connected with others we all know those individuals who seem to have many more connections uh, whether it's somebody that you know at a gym uh, at your church uh, at a sports league, uh, in business in general, uh, there are maybe, like I mentioned before, a realtor. Those people are connected with many individuals, and you want to just regularly be developing and nurturing relationships. By the way, one of those could even be a recruiter that's in your area as well. So here's what I've got I've got a simple spreadsheet. Basically, we've got an area for name. Then LinkedIn profile so that you can easily click on it and go right to their LinkedIn profile. Date of last touch. Now, I always encourage you to just regularly kind of touch base with people. Uh, you don't want to do it in a way that is mechanical. And you don't want to use the same method every single time. You want to vary it. You know, statistics tell us, just in marketing in general, that it takes at least seven touches for your name to be memorable and for somebody to know who you are and what you're about. So that's why I also have a column here for method used. Now that method could be calling them, it could be emailing them, it could be you saw them out when you were out and about, or maybe you had a conversation at the Little League game, or at church, or at the gym. Uh, whatever that method that you seem to have used, then uh, write that down so that you're not just constantly bombarding them with a phone call every single time, but you're varying that touch. And then some personal facts. I think it's good to uh, write down and record any personal facts. Maybe you're both uh, alumni from the same college or institution, or maybe uh, you're, it's your brother's best friend, or you used to work with them. Record that down so you can remember the connection or the reason for the connection. And then here's a place for notes. Obviously, this can get a bit large, but you can stretch that column out and just kind of help you to refresh uh, you on your con last conversation with them. So essentially, that's it right now. You're just kind of prospecting through these names and staying in touch with them and keeping them to the kind of a top of the mind awareness of you um, and that the fact that you're looking and that you're open to opportunities and, and those kinds of things. So my get it done task for today would be for you to download this spreadsheet. It's in an Excel file or you can upload it to Google Docs if you don't have Excel. And basically record 15 to 20 names down and start trying to do some light touches with these people and stay in touch with them. That's it for today. We'll talk to you next time.